City road surfaces typically degrade annually, with damage ranging from 2 to 3 percent in most areas and up to 12 to 15 percent in harsh climates or due to low quality materials. The most common issues are cracks and potholes. Traditionally, excavators, hydraulic hammers, hand tools, and cutters were used to remove damaged asphalt layers. However, a more efficient, cost-effective method now exists, infrared asphalt heaters. Infrared heat softens the road without harming its properties, and it can be used on asphalt, concrete, metal, and thermoplastic surfaces. During repair, the heater is placed over the damaged area, softening the asphalt within 10 minutes. Then, workers add fresh asphalt and rejuvenating agents, leveling the surface. The result is a seamless repair that doesn't look like a patch. Notably, this method reduces material usage by half, compared to traditional approaches. Thermoplastic materials are increasingly employed for road markings due to their quick application, resulting in enhanced road performance. Initially, thermoplastic appears as a powder and is typically delivered in large bags. It transforms into a liquid when exposed to high temperatures, typically around 130 to 150 degrees Celsius. Special equipment is essential for both initial marking and updates since thermoplastic requires this high temperature process. When only a small section of the road needs repair, workers utilize handheld devices. These devices allow constructors to refresh pedestrian paths, update turn and stop signs, and other road markings. One notable advantage of using thermoplastic for road markings is its durability. Even under heavy traffic, the updated signs remain effective for at least two years. Additionally, thermoplastic dries much faster than traditional paint. Once it cools down, the road can be reopened. Other notable characteristics of thermoplastic markings include resistance to abrasion, resistance to chemical reagents, and a high grip index. Filling the potholes. Road surfaces constantly endure various damaging factors, including harsh weather conditions, soil erosion, and the wear caused by car tires, all contributing to the formation of potholes. While road construction companies are responsible for repairing potholes, they don't always address the issue promptly. In such cases, creative citizens step in with original solutions to fix these road deficiencies. One remarkable example is the artist Jim Backer from Chicago, who decided to assist road services by filling large and deep potholes with mosaics. His process involves filling each pothole with mortar and then placing a pattern of glass and marble on top, which he assembles in advance at home. Backer drew inspiration from his visit to Pompeii and reasoned that if glass and marble roads built in ancient Rome have endured over time, the same technology could be applied to modern roads. Now, his neighborhood stands out as a unique part of the city. The roads are smooth, and the surface patches are genuine works of art. Remarkably, despite the technically illegal nature of his work, neither the police nor road services object. Thus, Backer can freely indulge his creative impulses without anyone attempting to curb his innovative approach to road repair. In certain areas like quarries and large construction sites, traditional road paving is not always feasible due to the soil's less than ideal characteristics. Often, this soil has low load-bearing capacity and poor quality. However, there exists a method to prepare this soil for practical use by compacting it. To achieve this, special binders and additives are employed, which can have diverse compositions. The result is a surface that, when dry, does not produce dust and can withstand the weight of even heavy vehicles without getting stuck in the soil. Observing the workers in action, you can see that they apply this composition to the slopes along the road's edge. This is a crucial step in preventing erosion as the treatment helps to stabilize the soil, preventing rocks, debris, and stones from collapsing onto the road. This soil stabilization process results in a suitable and functional road without the need for traditional paving. Chip fill. 
Jovico Marking specializes in thermoplastic materials for road markings. They've recently developed a unique thermoplastic called Chip Fill. It's ideal for repairing roads and comes in flake form, transported in large bags. To use it, workers heat the damaged area and fill it with these flakes. Then, they use a gas torch to heat the chip fill, allowing it to melt and optimally fill cracks or holes alongside bitumen. This method is great for damage up to 15 to 20 centimeters wide and adheres better than traditional cold repair materials. It's a quick 20-minute process suitable for year-round road repairs without the need for bulky equipment. Hunklinger, a German company, offers advanced hydraulic paver laying clamps for sidewalks and walkways. These clamps feature a patented automatic hydraulic control unit, making them compatible with various construction machines. Unlike competing models with electrohydraulic units, installation is straightforward and they work with a wide range of machines. The clamps operate in cycles, holding slabs while leveling them horizontally and laterally. They then fix, lift, and place the slabs on the surface, repeating cycles until the walkway is complete. Cold climate countries face hefty expenses for snow removal each year, yet battling nature's wintry challenges remains a constant struggle. Japan pioneered the use of heated roads a few years back. During construction, a unique heating grid is laid beneath the top asphalt layer, akin to the process of installing heated flooring in homes. The results were impressive. After the first winter, people experienced the tremendous benefits of heated asphalt. The surface temperature remains above freezing, causing snow to promptly melt upon contact. Snowdrifts become virtually non-existent thanks to the continuous and even heating. This prevents water from freezing on the surface, eliminating hazardous ice formation. Inspired by Japan's success, other countries have followed suit. Today, heated asphalt can be found in various cities across Canada, the USA, Finland, Norway, and Iceland. Notably, in Iceland, they employ geothermal waters, not electricity, to heat the asphalt, showcasing an eco-friendly twist to this innovative technology. Concrete Rollers The final step in creating a concrete floor, whether indoors or outdoors, involves leveling the surface. This step is crucial for room construction and for ensuring that materials like linoleum and laminate can be properly laid. Achieving a flawlessly flat surface without joints can be a labor-intensive task using traditional methods. To simplify and expedite this process, Curb Roller Manufacturing offers a solution. They produce various sizes and designs of concrete rollers powered by an electric generator. These solid rollers efficiently roll and compress the surface, effortlessly creating a perfect, joint-free finish. Moreover, the roller's working width can be adjusted, allowing workers to tackle a range of tasks with ease. The common issue with concrete slab surfaces is soil shrinkage beneath them. Polylevel, though it may look like regular spray foam, is made of high-density polyurethane. Typically, special concrete is used to restore these slabs, but it requires drilling numerous holes around the perimeter, marring the site's appearance. Polylevel foam offers several benefits. It can be injected through small, nearly invisible holes, preserving the surface's appearance. It's lighter than traditional concrete, but has a higher load-bearing capacity, adjustable for various projects. The polyurethane in the composition reinforces the floor, preventing further shrinkage and reducing the need for frequent repairs. Lastly, it dries almost instantly, allowing immediate use after repair, unlike traditional concrete which may take hours to days to dry. Mechanical Concrete A few years back, American civil engineer Samuel Bonasso devised an entirely new road construction technique. In 2016, the American Society of Civil Engineers acknowledged it as the most ecologically sound construction approach. 
This recognition is attributed to its unique solution to the pressing issue of tire recycling, which is a significant concern in major cities around the world each year. At the beginning of the video, we provided a brief overview of what a geogrid is and its purpose. Now, let's delve into this road construction technology in greater detail as it offers numerous advantages. Specifically, we'll focus on the DuPont Surface Stabilization Geogrid, a groundbreaking solution for parking lots, driveways, and walkways. This geogrid features a unique three-dimensional structure resembling a honeycomb when unfolded. It's crafted from 100% polypropylene, ensuring that it doesn't degrade when buried in the ground and shielded from sunlight, granting it a lifespan of up to 25 years. Among its key benefits are its lightweight nature, compact foldability, and resistance to water. Utilizing geogrids like this one diminishes the risk of flooding, since it retains rainwater during heavy downpours. Additionally, the final surface it creates boasts higher density, preventing wheels or feet from getting stuck in the crushed stone when DuPont GeoGrid is installed beneath it.